Hello Wargamers and welcome back to Battle Brothers with me, Bubble Box. It's night time at the moment. Um, in the last battle we dealt with Hoggart. Um, we'll just unpause, just let the night time go away. And in this battle, sorry, in this episode, we're going to need to find ourselves another mini mission because we need to find ourselves, so we need to get ourselves a lot of cash so we can build our Marauders up or our Battle Brothers. Um... It is night time, but there's no uh, mission here anyway, so we might as well kind of just leave and we'll head off to a place, some other place. Now, I don't want to go to one of these big places because they're probably not going to have a mission. I'm wondering whether to head up towards this place. Well, this looks fairly big. Let's head up towards uh, Lakwal and see if they've got anything for us. It's turned daylight. Let's see if we can get there. Oh, during camp. You feel good today. Ready to lead Bubbles Marauders? Through any challenge to come, you gather the men around, kicking Raymond to his feet and telling Magnus to finish scraping away the hairs on his neck later. When their muttering has subsided, you stare to address him. What do you tell the men? What do you tell the men the company will do? So we've got a couple of choices. We can either get ourselves some allies, bonds of friendship and trust with one of the towns. We'll get the company better prices, more volunteers and steady work. We shall get the company's strength back to a dozen men. It will make us a formidable force once again and allow us to take on more force. I think we'll go for the former. We'll go for the make ally because the reason for that is getting back to a dozen men, that's going to cost gold. And each of those men is going to need armor. Each of those men is going to need food. And each of those men is going to need paying. So we're going to need to be on big bucks to get to 12 men. So we're going to be need to do this first one first, I think. So we're going to head up to Well or whatever it's called. Let's check out what is there. So we've got uh, a gatherer's hut, so they'll have food, an arrow maker, so they'll have an, uh, Fletcher or something like that. Uh, although it might... I don't know. We, we might get a mission from there. Let's check it out. Get in there. Okay, so the mission here is locked because we're not good enough for them. It's too big, even though they will sell us... Oh, a kennel! A kennel! We can get ourselves a dog! A war dog! Strong, loyal dog bred for war. Can be unleashed in battle for scouting, tracking, or running down. And they're quite useful. Not sure how we work. Oh, I fancy a white one. What do you reckon? Go grab us a... Bane the war dog. Okay, why is this one twice as much? Tracking, scouting, running down enemies. This one wears a leather coat for protection. Oh, okay, it's got a bit of armor. We'll take the basic. We can't afford anything else. We haven't got much cash as it is. Do we need any food? I think we're okay for food. And why are we worth just selling our grain here? We might sell this. Uh, is it grain? No, it's salt. We'll sell our salt uh, for six, 360. They are immediately going to sell it for, where's it gone? 531. That's the, that was a fair price, to be honest. Yeah, the prices in this game are just a bit crazy. So, um, I think we sorted our guys out. Um, yeah, we've got a couple injured here, so they need to be sorted out. don't suppose there's a temple in this place, is it? In this damn place? No, no temple. So we need to go somewhere a little bit smaller. What about this place over here? Weisenschnacht. Let's go here. Um, we've got a salt mine, so they're going to sell salt, obviously. So let's head over here anyway. See if we can get some work for our guys. Hopefully, I uh, don't know whether we're going to make it. Speed up a little bit. Don't know whether they're going to make it during the day. I want to get in there before night time. And we have made it. And we have a mission. Let's check out the contract that's available here. Gothard of Weisenbach settled down into his chair, laughing to himself as he does it. It is a one skull. It's a small place. So it should be a fairly easy mission. Don't be alarmed, Sellsword. But they say ghosts are afoot. Yes. Yes. Local peasants are poisoning my morning with constant talks of ghosts and goblins. They say that these supposed creatures are turning the cemetery upside down, raiding the graves to enlarge their army or some such nonsense. Obviously, it's just the work of some spade-wielding men intent on robbing graves for jewellery. I've seen it before. He looks down at his hands, briefly chuckling. Anyway, I can't just let it rest because these peasants won't get off my back about it. So, to ease them... There's you, there's you. I need you to go to the cemetery and clear out the troublemakers you find. How do you do that is up to you. But I'll go ahead and suggest a good steal, if you know what I mean. 
Okay, let's talk money then. How much are you going to pay us? 380. Let's try and get some more. More. Uh, 380 it is then. Oh, shit. Can you pay us some advance? Nope, it's not looking good. Oh! I think I've done myself in. I don't think I can take that now. We've got to leave. We have to leave this place. Okay, so you can't keep asking for stuff or they're going to tell you to piss off. So let's go to... Oh! Fuxburg. Okay, they're going to give us work in Fuxburg, surely. We're off to Fuxburg. I know it's Fuxburg. That's going to be the title for the, <laughs> for the episode, isn't it? It's got to be the title for the episode. Let's double time this. Get over there. Let's get to Fuxburg. Okay. I'm not swimming on YouTube. It's the name of the place. Look, it says it there. The green flag. Right. There's always a trading caravan moving out. Let's get a good mission, shall we? Let's not dilly and dally about too much either. A man approaches from the side of the road. He's dressed in a peasant's garb, yet is guarded by two well-armed men. He announces himself as a councilman in the employ of Erland the Guildmaster, a local leader of Fuxburg. Fuxburg, you are asked to take audience with the man. Erland the Guildmaster looks out of his window. We know that brigands and the gods know what else are terrorising these parts, and they are quite fond of the roads. After a particularly bad run, my old caravan guards lost their heart for the job. Now I need someone to watch my shipment. Next one is going to Eisenberg. Does that sound like... Yeah. Oh, so it's a nice little caravan shipment. I think we can do that. How many crowns are we talking about? 14 advance, 180. Dare we ask for some more? It's No, we don't. Okay, so I think uh, we'll accept it this time. It's not many, but if I remember right, we've already been to this place. It's really close. So this won't take very long. So I'm going to accept that contract. We shan't leave yet. We'll just check our guys out, make sure they're ready. Uh, they're kind of not. Oh, we've got a promotion here for Raymond. Oh, and by the way, if you want to be one of these characters in-game, let me know in the comments below. What I want you to do is put the name of the character. It's got Vernhard, Vernhard um, who's a melee guy. We've got Magnus. We've got Hakon, who's like this, got this really strange weapon. We've got Ferdinand, who's our, two, two, our axe-wielding guy. And then we've got uh, Raymond down here. He's our a crossbowman and then we've got Torkel. So say the name of the guy you want to be and then put your name down, what you want to be known as in game, or if you don't want to be known as anything just by the name that you put the comment down as, then you can be known as that instead. If you're not bothered, just say you want to be any character and I'll stick you down as any character. First come, first served. So let's uh get Raymond sorted out. So he is a he's gonna be one of our main uh, he's gonna be our main guy with the crossbow so we're going to give him a little bit more health and then we're going to give him range skill and melee defense in case the enemy gets on top of him because he might be meleeing at some point perks wise we've had a look at these in the last episode so for fast adaptation probably not because he's quite a slow fire crippling strikes that might be useful i'm thinking maybe colossus for anyone i'm not sure about nine lives is interesting and then we've got nah don't need bags and belts pathfinder would be interesting as well because yeah, I'm thinking for the archers, Pathfinder might be quite interesting one for getting into a defensive position at the start of a game, maybe. Uh, and getting out of trouble as well. Yeah, I might try Pathfinder just to see what it's like, just to see what it's like. So we're going to set these up, actually, um, so they're ready to go in case we bump into any enemy in our caravan. We'll put him on the outside. I'm, I'm happy. I would quite like to get an archer as well, actually. Quite like to get an archer. Um, we've got 744. We've got Heinrich, Gunther. Yeah, no one there. Yeah. Nah, let's leave that. Let's just get this caravan moving to where... We've got an armourer. What have we got in here? We could get some laminar armour for 381 crowns. I think we're kind of okay at the moment. You've got laminar armor. You could do with it, Ferdinand. Um, but everyone's fairly well armored. When I get someone else, I'll get some good armor for one of the melee units and give them their armor. So I think we're ready to leave. So here we are in our trading caravan. We're heading for Eisenberg. Oh, we haven't been to Eisenberg. I thought we'd been to Eisenberg. That's actually more of a distance than I thought it was going to be. 
So we're heading up to Eisenberg. It'll take a little bit of time. We're on double speed already. Along the road, Verhard comes to you with a report of food st of your food stocks. He explained that there's not much to go around and what bread is on hand could be better used to build a house or slay a man. Most of the fruit is soft to the touch, covered in what appears to be grey fur. All that's left out of otherwise has been thrown into the great stew, which the men aptly name crotch broth. To be frank, it isn't good looking. However, for some fortuitous coincidence, a small farm stands in the distance. The brother doesn't come right out and say it, but it's generally suggested that my company might go and raid it. Oh, this is interesting. Right, I think we should give it a go, don't you? Yeah. I don't know if it will give us bad... Well, let's, let's go for it. Okay. You head off towards the farm. A few farmhands straighten up in the fields, staring at you as you approach and exchanging glances with one another. A worker baling hay plants with his pitchfork in the grounds and tents stands over it. They all watch you with nervous curiosity as you cross the plains. Your men, not at all, trying to hide their want for the passing crops. When you're near the homestead, a woman comes out to meet you. She wipes her brow and asks you what it is that you want. A few children come out. Oh God, we're playing with the heartstrings. A few children come out of a nearby home and stand on the porch. They eye you tentatively behind the leg of the older man, possibly the woman's father. So I can either take only what is needed, take everything, or take everything and kill everyone. <laughs> God, what a game. We're going to take only what is needed. Yeah, I'm such a wimp, but we're going to do that. That might not take me, put me in good stead with my men, I don't know. You explain to the woman that your men need food. She gasps, but you hold a hand up. We'll only take what is needed. No more, no less. We don't want any trouble. And I know for sure, don't want any. Right? The woman quickly nods. You turn around. You order your men to take a few crops. While at the same time, the woman raises her voice and tells the farmhands not to take it, to try anything stupid. The whole affair lasts about 10 minutes before your group is back on the road. So we've got some smoked ham and we've got some bread. And it doesn't seem to have done anything bad to our guys. I thought it might sort of affect them in some way, but it doesn't seem to have done. So we've grabbed ourselves a bit of fodder. So that's pretty good. There were some enemies there. Did you see them? There was definitely some enemy there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Brigand thugs, brigand thugs. What the hell? Yeah, we're being attacked. The convoy's being attacked. So we're going to have to defend the convoy. Okay. Now, we've got some guys here that aren't ours. There's our donkeys. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's quite a lot of guys. But this time, yeah, we might get some loot. No, none of them have got helmets. One's got... They're not that well armed. We are only six, though. So, yeah. Can we take a shot before we pull back behind our guys? 57%, 62%. 62% the shot. It was hit. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That must have been a headshot. Must have been a headshot. Okay, you better pull back because they're not going to be happy with you, my friend. They're not going to be at all happy with you. Get back behind the line. Okay, and you can finish your turn there. You've done good. You've done good, Raymond. Okay, who's next? Stop eoing. Um. Now, this guy actually can probably... No, we're going to pass him. We're going to leave him on the edge. Right, they're coming forward. They're coming forward. Okay, okay. This down here, by the way, is the order in which they play. They're all coming forward. Oh, actually, I might step him forward to take a whack at these guys. We could get the first whack off. Or we could just pull back and let them come at us, come at our shields, maybe. It might be better. These guys might join in then. Right, so you need to go into a kind of a defensive position. And we'll end your turn there, because they're not going to be able to get on top of us, are they? No, they're not. Okay. But they are next time. So you're just going to do a shield, raise your shield and end your turn. We're going to get ourselves in a nice, sort of orderly fashion before we start battling with these guys. You raise your shield. So they come across a shield wall is the first thing they come across. We'll end your turn there. You can put your shield up just there. And then good old Ferdinand is going to be the last one. He's going to just pull back into this pocket. Oh, yeah. Pull back into that pocket, Ferdinand. And get ready to do battle, my friends. Because they're going to come at us. Well, they might come at us after we've... Oh, can he do it again? 
Can he do it again? 17%. 55% up there. Oh, he's already wavering. I think it's because he saw his 66%. Okay, can he? Can he? Oh, it was pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Okay. Now you can just pass for a second. See if they come at us. You can pass as well. See if they come at us. Oh, they're coming at us. Okay. So that was the shield he hit. So that's good. What are you doing? Jumping around. Right, here we go. Mr. Cleaver. I don't like those cleavers. They are quite deadly sometimes. Spearman. Flail. They can they can avoid shields. So we've got to be a bit careful of the flails. And then these guys can... Yeah, they're pretty dangerous as well. So let's do a decapitate. Gnaw's armor. Or should we just do a straight attack? Let's just, just do a straight attack for the moment. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, wow. Uh, yes, very good, old chap. Okay, now then, let's do a uh, thrust. Yeah. Bloody hell, I'm getting really lucky here. Let's just do another thrust. Might be able to finish him. He's wavering. He's wavering. Got this guy behind as well. And... Let's do the guy at the side here, who's also wavering. You can see that they don't like it when their friends get hit. So he's down already. Okay, now I had <laughs> I only played this at Veteran. Easy does seem a lot easier than Veteran, I have to admit. Or maybe I'm just being very, very lucky at the moment. 68, 63. Whoa! The destruction. Can you finish this guy off? No, a miss. That's the problem. If you start missing, then they hit back. Yeah, because I have my shields up at the moment. You can see he didn't have a. She hasn't got a shield, so he does take damage. Are these guys going to do anything back here with the donkeys? Okay, let's reload and fire another crossbow. Who's got the best chance? Oh, actually, I'm gonna have to shoot this guy because this guy's going to do damage to our friend here. So, oh, this guy. No, this guy. He gets another hit. Bloody hell, Raymond! You're the be you're a beast. This guy's not doing so well though. Ow, ow, ow. See what I mean? No shield. Can he get revenge? No, he's bloody missed. And you can't pull back because they'll do damage. You can't get out of me melee, basically. Right. Okay, so can you finish this gentleman off back here with a bloody face? Yeah, you can. Nice. And let's move you. Um, no, we'll leave you there. Let's finish your turn. Okay, you can move up to move you over to there and across to there. Kind of get them surrounded a bit, get them a little bit worried. End your turn. And then you can do a couple of prods into this guy. Nice. Can you finish him? Yes, you can. And then we can move this guy into here. And we've even got one shot, one chance to kill. And we don't quite make it. So he's going to get a shot off. Probably going to hit him. Oh! We shall run them down. We shall indeed. Are these guys going to do anything? No, they're not. Now then, I don't know whether we can get a shot off without... Yeah, he might damage our guy, so we're going to move him. Oh, we can't. Oh, move him around to there. Eventually, eventually. Right, you have got the same problem, haven't you? Move you across to there. Just end your turn. Right, come on. For your own defence. <laughs> Oh, that was quite good, I have to admit. That was quite good. Now, because he's wavering a lot, I think I can pull him back without getting injured. Yes, I can. I wasn't sure about that mechanic, but it does work. So let's move you up. Oh, no, there's a bloody tree in the way. Let's move you around there, then. Okay. This guy is not going to get away, is he? Let's move you forward. You can poke him with your stick. And it's all over, so... Yeah, not bad. We've got a few, um, yeah, we've got a few promotions to do as well. Excellent. Okay, and let's not forget to take all this loot. There's quite a lot of loot. We've even got a blotched gambeson. So that's not bad uh, at this stage in the game. And we've got some crowns. And we've got some repair stuff, some bandages and all sorts of shit. Fantastic. Oh, we've even got a short sword. That's not bad. That's not a bad loot haul. And we should be continuing on, are we? Are we already... Oh, unpause. Yeah, let's continue on on our trek up to Eisenberg. Let's double time it. Night time. 
We might probably just get there for the morning, which would be good. We'll have a look around town. Did we take much damage? Did, we, did anyone take damage? This guy, Raymond, he's still got his broken whatever it is, his pierced side. And also, yeah, we've got Ferdinand. A little bit the worse for wear, but... Oh, my God. We're being attacked again? What the hell? Can't work out who's attacking you. Oh, we've already got injured people. They didn't get too injured. Oh, we're going to have to do another battle. Oh, my God. We're only getting paid a little bit. What the hell? Oh, it's night time. We're only getting paid a little bit for this. Uh, um, should we wait for them to come at, come at us? I think we're going to wait for them to come at us. Yeah, we'll wait for them to come at us. Let's pull back. I'm hoping these guys might join in. Okay. Let's pull you back a little bit. Okay, there's some... <laughs> we don't know what the enemy is yet, so I'm being a little bit cautious here. Okay, they are coming forward. I'd like these guys to get in front and act as kind of cannon fodder for... Oh, doesn't look like anything too bad. Doesn't look like anything too bad at all. Why can't I zoom in? Oh, I am zoomed in. Okay. Yeah, these guys don't look too tough. They've got some reasonable weapons. But I can certainly give this guy a good whack from this distance. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And we're actually just going to pull him. Or should we go on the attack? We'll leave him there. We'll leave him there. And we'll attack for... Oh, how many? Oh, actually, there are seven of them. Ooh, there are seven. Let's... Hmm... I think we should attack anyway. I think we should. Okay, here we go. This guy has got a sword. We need to take him out. So your go is over, my friend. We need to finish this sword guy off. Oh, I've got a fl oh shit, we've got a flail guy as well. The flail guys can kind of dodge the um, shields. Okay, let's move you forward to here. And can you put a you can put a spear wall up? So put a spear wall up. That'll protect us a little bit on this flank. There's their last guy. No, two more guys. Okay. Yeah, they are a little bit tougher than I thought actually. Um, if I move forward, I'll still be out of fire, won't I? I think so. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Come on, Raymond. Do the business. Seven percent. Eleven percent. 47%. 40, let's go for... Let's go for the spear guy. Yeah, go for the spear guy. <coughs> Miss. Raymond. Raymond. Okay. Right. Get into the battle, my friends. Right, we'll move you up on the flank. I'm wanting these guys back here to get into the battle. Take some damage for us. They're kind of hanging around at the back a bit. Yeah, they're going to do nothing, are they? Okay. Right, Raymond. You have the initiative, my friend. I'll have another go. Uh, this spear chap. 47. Yeah, we'll go for the spear guy. Okay. Right, they're not moving. Brilliant. You come up there just in case they move forward. And we'll just give you a skip your turn a second. Right, here they come. Okay. A miss. Coming around on the flank. He's taken the high ground. Oh, I didn't realise that. That's a little bit unfortunate. We might be able to poke him. Poke him! <laughs> nice! And tempted to move you. But I'm actually going to leave him there. I'm going to leave him there. I think he'll be okay. Oh, got the meat cleaver. On the flank. Spearman's moving down. Now then, maybe try to take this guy off his high ground first. 71%. That's pretty good. Now, I could put my shield up. There are three of them around me. I think the thing is I could kill him. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I'm going to put my shield up. Yeah. So you take a swipe at the cleaver guy. I'm going to take a swipe at this guy. Yeah, put your shield up as well. We need some defense. Definitely need some defense. Right, here they come. 
Yeah, their shields are up as well. Um, I'm just going to... Hmm. I'm going to go forward here. I'm going to shield. And then we're going to take this chap. I think I've still got turns with him. You're finished. I think I've still got turns with Ferdinand. Oh no, it's all these guys at the back doing nothing. Come on, come on. Now we've got him. Now we can move him forward and take a swipe at this guy. Oh no, we can't. We haven't got enough points. Damn, damn it. Alright, they're going to really whack us now. Oh, finally. He's coming into the battle. They're all coming into the battle. Wow. So, now then. Let's not do a round swing. Split shield. No, he hasn't got a shield. So we'll just give him a good whack on the head, hopefully. Oh! Oh! Decapitated! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll halt there. I'm getting a little bit of help now. Nice. Uh, so there, there, and that's there. So we can actually move Raymond forward a little bit. And who shall we shoot at? Yeah, it's quite good. Oh, we can't. Oh, God. We could actually grapple this guy off of here because we've got a little grappling thing, a hook. But I think we're just going to try and finish him off. There we go. Nice. And then you can stay there. Good, good, good. Oh, oh, taking some hits, taking some hits. Oh, no, it's not us. And our shield protected us there. And he's just raised, he's raised his shield. Oh, he's stunned. It's not one of ours, though. Uh, we're, we're doing good on the old shield protection, that's for sure. So we're going to take a, a hit against... Oh, he's got a fucking shield. We need to... Let's take a shot at this guy, then. Yeah. And then we're going to raise our shield again because of this meat cleaver guy. He is a danger. And then we'll take a swipe at him. Finished him off. So I could move forward. I still have got my shield, haven't I? And we'll get a bit of protection from his shield. So I'm, I think I'm happy to move forward. And he is, yeah, he's, he's panicked a little bit now. So that's good. Right, now then. Um, now these guys have got shields... So I'm just going to take a shot at him. And I'm going to put my shield wall up. Yeah. Are these guys going to do anything? Oh, someone else coming to help. Good. Okay. So I've still got uh, Mr. Grumpy Draws here, I think. Yep, it's his turn now. So we're going to give this guy a good whack to get rid of his shield this time. Oh, failed. Failed. Okay. Right. Raymond, my friend. Oh, oh, Raymond, have you got that bug again? No, you can fire. Okay, so we really want to shoot at maybe this guy. Yeah, this guy. Nice. Did him a nice little bit of damage there, Raymond. We'll just reload your crossbow. Oh, you're going backwards now, are you? All right, fair enough. Now you can have a prod at this guy. Oh, his shield protected him. God damn it. He's punching now. Fisticuffs against the shield. Okay, fine. Again, my shield saved me there. Let's take a swipe at this guy. Oh, I should have done a shield attack. Should have. Oh, I don't think I can. That's my problem, isn't it? Do another attack. Oh, that's a lot better. Nice. Okay. Ferdinand dodged a couple. Let's see if we can finish them off and I do nice nice let's move up let's move up okay so they're down to two guys now both over in this corner so um, let's let's concentrate on this trap here nice should I put a shield up no I can't put a shield up I actually haven't why can't I put a shield up oh it's because my fatigue's too low but I can do another attack though yeah fatigue can be a big problem in this game. Are you not having enough of it? Okay, we're going to get a shot in a minute with Ferdinand. Try and swipe this guy. Oh no, got Mr. Proddy first. Let's try and get him around on the flank here. Okay. Raymond! Come on, Raymond. Oh, that was only 23%. Very nice. 
Right. Do we try and take his shield out? No, we can't. We haven't got a shield attack. Oh, we have got a split shield. I think, well, to be honest, he's not got a lot left anyway. He's got a little bit of head armor. Let's try and finish him. Oh, and his bloody shield stopped it. I should have done a shield attack. Never mind. Okay, let's come around the flank a little bit. We still get a chance to attack from the rear. Nice. Ow. And start coming around. Okay. Come on. Nice. He's down. And he's still got an attack left. And it's all over. Nice. Okay. Got quite a lot. We've got five promotions there. Very nice. And wow. We almost got as much gold from that as we're going to get from getting this caravan through. Three shields. Cleaver. Nothing too useful, but, but 120 gold. And a little bit of tools and supplies and some ammo as well. And some, a little bit of food. So, yeah, nothing too shabby. Let's just make sure we loot that lot. And continue on our way to... Eisenberg, we've already been attacked twice now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're not going to get attacked again, surely? Uh, our guys are going to be... How's our guys doing? We have got promotions. They're not too damaged either. Let's just let's just keep going. See if we can out. I don't want another fight. Let's just get away from these brigands. Oh, okay, they've gone. Good. Good. Let's just get to Eisenberg, shall we? Let's just get to Weisenberg and have a bit of a rest. So we've gained our 180 crowns. Excellent. So we've made it all the way to Eisenberg. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to end that episode there. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.